In death as in life, Maria was surrounded by controversy. She had set aside much of her fortune to fund the Maria Callas Foundation, an organization to help talented young opera singers. She appointed her friend, the Greek pianist Vaso de Vezzi, to oversee the funds required to run the foundation. After Maria's death, it was discovered that many millions had gone missing and that the address in Geneva that de Vezzi had used for the foundation was nothing more than a disused shop front. She had kept all the funds for herself, and by the time it was discovered, she was dead from cancer and the money was gone. It was yet another betrayal, but thankfully one which Maria had not lived to witness. Onassis died two years before Maria. He left a vast estate worth over one billion dollars, one half of it to his only surviving child, Christina, and the other to the Alexander Onassis Foundation in memory of his son. In his will, he left his wife, Jackie, the bare minimum by law. But she contested, and in order to avoid a very public legal battle, Christina paid her a full and final settlement of $26 million. Maria Callas, his partner for over 15 years, received nothing. She had given up one of the greatest careers the opera world had ever known. She had lost her husband and her family. Even her voice had deserted her. In her final years, Maria lived her life alone with just the memories of happier times. But her legacy to the world is a treasure of infinite value.